coming at you on a Wednesday. It's the 20th of May. Starting out with this dollar yen chart here. Took a little visit to 108.10 yesterday. Uh, this surprised a lot of people in the sense that we didn't ram through that. Um, now we have a triple top up there, so it's worth watching going forward. Um, lots of clear air above. Um, interesting. 108.10, I don't know what's going to drive it. Obviously, it would kind of, you'd be looking for something kind of risk on or dollar index i.e. euro dollar collapsing um, for this to for this to come good but the story in dollar yen has been a bit convoluted recently anyway so I don't even know what the story is obviously it could be policy from the BOJ but uh, who knows just keep an eye on it it's, port it's an important uh, level Let's just leave that at that. Uh, overnight, you saw equity futures. They kind of held steady. We tactically uh, went short yesterday, but then we squared. We were selling in the 30s. Went down to 15. Uh, now we're back here at 37. This bar here was kind of the, the key bar this 240 bar here um, the rejection of the 66 break and then our bull bear was 33 sold through 33's I guess it went down to 10 opened up in Asia went down to 08 and a half now we're back at 37 right in the middle this could go either way now so be careful um, Obviously, if we make a new high today, it's very bullish. Could be some vaccine bullshit. Could be, could be, <clears throat> could be a lot of stuff. Let's keep in mind, Nikkei gapped open, gapped lower <clears throat> at the open, but then finished up uh, one point three percent. So, middle of nowhere in equities. Our bias is lower. Tactically, we're square. Uh, on the tactical book, we're square. The trend book is short still. Um, the 200 day is at 3,000. So this now, uh, but this now area between 29.66 and 3,000 is kind of like no man's land. It's bid, but that's a heck of a resistance up there at 3,000. Are we going to print a 3,030 high? Maybe. Um, here's also something to keep in mind. Are we just going to go sideways now between sort of, say, 3050 and 2750 for the next two months? Uh, good possibility of that as well and then uh, at the end of the summer the next shoe drops who knows we're square for now um, on the tactical book as far as the uh, short term book so we're just being patient dollar swiss holy cow dead as a door now see this volatility just constricting um, dollar Swiss did not go down when euro went up because euro Swiss uh, you know popped the cherry there stay away from dollar Swiss for now of course short seems to be seems to be the way the trend book's been sitting core short but it's dull uh, it's uh, it's really just kind of a crappy little position. Let's take a look at Aussie. Uh, Aussie traded up to 84 yesterday. 
uh, and now uh, has been 25.61. Is this the turn bar in Aussie? Maybe. Um, obviously, the Aussie yen level popped. Then we got a tail. Aussie made a new high. Then we got a tail. If we're risk off and if China is still going to try and punch Australia in the face, um, which they may very likely do, um, this might be an interesting turn. When do we? When do we know? I don't know. I think sixty-five twenty, sixty-five twenty-five is a good enough point. Some people will even make this into like a little monkey head and shoulders here. Um, I'd be careful fading it because this could easily go higher. Um, but you get a little bit more conviction if we get down through 65 and a quarter. Aussie yen, you get conviction if we can get through. I would I would say actually the bingo number is, is 18 because that was the bingo number coming up. But you can see they're both the same chart. Little monkey head and shoulders here, uh, perhaps, uh, if you have an imagination. We'll be watching this for the turn uh, on the tactical book. Dollar CAD, wow. What a pain in the ass yesterday Dollar CAD was. Short, stopped, short, kinda worked. But then reversed. Um, 138.50 just did not want to trade. The low was 67. And now you look on the daily, it looks like a bit of a turn bar. So this goes back into the middle of the range through 67. Today's high has been 60. Nothing to do here, but now this 66 low. Uh, is important kind of lines up with this 50 low and this lines up with this 58 low eventually this is going to collapse markets long dollar cad uh, I don't know if it's going to be today for that to happen you need risk on uh, you need Aussie higher you need stocks higher so that's your setup not sure it's going to happen today but very much like the 108.10 level in dollar yen, just keep an eye, 138.66, now this low is important, technically. Gold, um, sneaking back up, right? The trend is higher in gold, even though this did bearish in golf. Um, your next tactical trade in gold is to buy it up through these highs, right? Because everyone here is short uh, after this bearish engulfing core short. There'll be stops here, 1775. We don't own any gold at the, at the moment. We're not short or long. Um, very hard to trade. Got lucky there the other day, asking ourselves some questions um, about positioning. But I think this this uh, reverts to trend, especially if equities go risk off again. Bitcoin. Actually, let's go to the uh, futures. Still waiting. You want to buy low ones here. This is just consolidating. Eventually, this is going to ram through uh, 10,600. Uh, but not today. Pretty quiet. Dollars are interesting print there these this is the daily so now we have a double bottom there at 81770 followed by this 1802 man we hate um, buying czar but this chart looks like she wants to roll over again you need equities higher um, you need euro higher you need rates in the US lower reminds me let's take a look at that 10 year um, in a second but just an interesting little confluence of 
of lows here. A few people are going to draw this. And bingo was his name. Oh, it's not the perfect line, but this looks like he wants to go lower. So if you're feeling feeling limber, feeling frisky, want to buy some czar, let's keep an eye on that uh, 18, 17. Here we go, tens. This low down here is 75 basis points. Um, we were tickling that yesterday on the yield side, and that's kind of an important level, but just couldn't get through it. We do eventually think fixed income is gonna is gonna fall on its face, um, but with all this QE, it's tough. It's tough on the downside. We're we're not trading this really, but we were watching it yesterday, uh, and this will this will maybe have an effect on dollar yen. Um, so you want to keep an eye on this one thirty eight sixteen on the price the yield uh, seventy five basis points. This is this is important. Anyway, I've said enough today. Uh, the story is a little confusing, so we're just using price. We're watching the tape today. 108.10 is important. 138.50 is important in uh, dollar CAD. And uh, for those of you who have traded FX for more than five minutes, realize that if dollar yen goes through 108.10 and dollar CAD goes through 138.50, Cad Yen's going to do a ripper. Anyway, good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.